are you able to start a poultry farm without having any land? Yes, you can start a poultry farm without having any land. Since I started my poultry farm without having any land, and I have been able to fight against all odds and I have reached where I have reached currently. So, stay tuned, like the video and subscribe to the channel. So, it seems like a piped dream. How will you be able to start a poultry farm without having any land? Since the land prices have really gone up. For example, for the place that I'm currently staying, a plot, 50 by 100 plot, is costing 1 million Kenyan shillings. That is like 10,000 US dollars. That is the price of a plot, 50 by 100 feet. So how will you be able to purchase your own land? And you, For example, if you want to set up a very big farm, you need like one acre or a half an acre for the list. How will you be able to achieve? And how will you be able to start a farm? And uh, you are unlucky you don't have these rich ancestors who had very large, huge tracts of land so that you can be able to start your venture. So in today's video, I'll just give you a glimpse. Because you have to start from somewhere. You can't keep waiting just so that you can get enough money so that you can be able to start your poultry farm. Money is not enough. You just have to start from somewhere, then you'll grow up. Because I'm going to show you where I started from. I started from down there. And I was able to grow up slowly by slowly. And that place where I started from, is where it led me to where I am currently. So you are able to start with what you have. It only takes your passion. If you have that passion in you, it will just be easy and you will be able to achieve whatever you want in this world. It may seem so hard for you, but I know if you believe in yourself, you will be able to achieve. You can just start a poultry farm with whatever place that you are. So I want to take you to the place where I started my poultry farm from. And it is not far from here. So now let's just head to where I started my poultry farm from. Because it is not something that <laughs> it is so big or it's something very different. Oh, it is not these houses where that I started my poultry farm from. Uh, I started my poultry farm from here. Do you see this cupboard? I started my poultry farm using this cupboard. As you can see it. So... Here at the top, let me remove this shed net. Uh, so you see, here at the top, I had put some mesh over here. Even if you can look properly, you can see the holes of the nails that I had drilled here. Even you can see here, this is a nail. I had put a mesh over here. Then on this other side, this side, I had put plywood. And here on the back, even you can see this. This one is plywood. This is where I started my poultry farm from. So even if you don't have any land, you can be able to start a poultry farm. It only needs your passion so that you can be able to start this venture. And you can be successful in it. So, what I did, I just went and bought these, these planks of wood. Then I was able to construct this small structure here. Have you seen it? Yes, it is a small structure. You can keep it in your house. Yes, this is currently our hatchery, but that is a story of another day. So, you can construct such a, a structure, a small structure. Is, can I say it's a structure or just some tool whereby you can keep your chicken? So even as you can see, I had kept some doors here. This one is a door, yes, you can see it. There's a nail over here and these are the hinges. So I was using these to brood my chick. This, this thing over here, it is very small as you can see it because this is the size of my hand as you can see, like this. So I was able to brood 100 chicks in this small thing. You know, you can brood 100 chicks and sell them off at three weeks old. You can brood 100 day old chicks, then you can sell them off at three weeks old. And this is how I was able to start a poultry farm with Nolan. Because even if you are in a rental space, you can construct such a small structure and put it outside. For example, if it is a rented space, that is your house, then you can construct such a small structure and put it outside. Okay? Now let me explain. I know you are going to ask me, how will my chicks sleep because they are very young? I'm going just to tell you that. So, if you have such a structure, you can, after here, what you, I did, I usually did, I put here plywood and the other side plywood. O only on the front is whereby I usually kept the wire mesh so that I can observe the chicks. You can see even over here, down here, we have this another door. This was my second door here. That was my second door. This is where I started my poultry farm from. So, that door, and then I was putting here, down here I was putting this gunny bag. I put the gunny bag. After I've kept the gunny bag, then I put wood shavings on top. Do you see that? 
down here I kept 50 then on top here I also kept 50 chicks you see that so 50 50 then I sold them off at three weeks or then I got a profit of like 5,000 which is like 50 US dollars back then the prices of fields were affordable it's not like currently in the market so after I had put all the chicks on top and at the bottom during the day I usually carry this then I usually kept it outside I can't carry it uh, because I'm alone I carried it I had a, a person who helped me then we put it outside so that the chicks can get the sunlight and the heat directly from the sun I was not using any brooding material that is the only better part I was not using any brooding material because I never had enough money I was a brokey I only had like 7,000 Kenyan shillings which was like 70 US dollars back then that is the only money that I had in front and behind so uh, what I usually did during the day when the chicks were outside they will just get the heat from the sun and during the night I usually transferred my chicks from this thing then I put them in cartons I just put them in cartons I had these very big cartons whereby you just place your chicks in and then you cover it if if, if your chicks sleep in such a cattle, they won't be able to get any cold during the night. So that is what I usually did. I started with this one. This means you can start a poultry farm without having any land. And you don't have any excuses. Okay? You can start your poultry farm with such a small structure. And you'll be able to achieve whatever you want in this world. Because the only need is what you have is that your vision and the passion in the, in, in the industry. If you have a passion in the industry, you will be able to achieve whatever you want to achieve. For example, this, this is our hatchery, whereby we will be putting uh, some of our things that we will be doing over here on our farm. So, you just have to start from somewhere. You have to believe in yourself. And anything is possible. Somebody should not tell you that nothing is possible. Everything is possible. You only need to believe in yourself. So, that is how I started. And you can start a poultry farm without having any form of land and you'll be able to achieve it. Because now currently the prices of plots are very, very expensive. Like for example, how will you be able to purchase a plot? Then you start to construct a very expensive poultry house. But if you have a lot of money, you can start. But if you have like something like 10 to $20, you can be able to construct such a thing. $10! And you, $10 you can start your poultry farm. Because even if you don't have any land, if you have $10, 10 to $20 that can be able, can enable you to get such a structure, you will be able to start. And that is just what you have to need. You just need to start. After you have started, everything just flows. You may get some problems here and there, but you'll, you, I know you'll overcome the problems and you'll be able to achieve whatever you want. So that is it. So I want to tell you, you can start from somewhere. Yes, and that is the only way you can start. If you are, have a rental place, you take this thing, then you put it outside during the day. During the night, you can take your chicken, then put them in a carton, then you sleep with them in your house. Because if you leave it out there, if you are, it is a rental space, some neighbors are not, not all neighbors are good. You can get a neighbor that, is a <laughs> that can do some things to you. So that is the only thing. If you want to start, it is only yourself that is holding yourself back. If every, anything is possible. If I was able to do this and look where I am right now, I am still down, but I have made a lot of progress because I believed in myself. And I also know you can believe in yourself and you'll be able to achieve whatever you want to achieve in this world. So you'll keep asking me what about the aeration. It is just easy. It is a small thing and the chicks are very young in age. So they don't need that much of oxygen. So that place they will be able to raise the chicks efficiently. You can raise a hundred chicks in that thing. That thing, just look at it. It is a very small thing and it can be able to raise a hundred chicks. Then you can progress and construct such a small poultry house. After this small poultry house, you can keep on progressing. Give yourself five years. You know, the poultry industry is a long, short game. Give yourself five years and give yourself targets. Where do you want to be in five years? And for those guys, if you get the profit from the poultry, don't eat it. 
keep reinvesting it, keep reinvesting it, keep reinvesting it till the poultry farm is sustainable. After it has become sustainable, then you can start munching the profits. So that is it. Just believe in yourself. So guys, for those guys that want to start any poultry venture, you'll be able to start any poultry venture and you'll be able to achieve whatever you want to achieve in this world only if you believe in yourself. I've repeated it so many times and that is how I started my poultry farm. And that is how you can start your poultry farm without having any land whatsoever. Guys, thank you for watching and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.